Oscar, buenas noches. Buenas noches. How are you today? Welcome, Amilcar. Good to see you here. Let's see who else is Lila. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Hello teacher. Arlen, Emerson, Rene. It's good to have you here, my teacher. dear. Okay, I'm very glad you're very early. Today is Friday. Remember that this time we are going to have this meeting because we started on Tuesday. But next week we are going to start. We are going to start from uh, from Monday to Thursday. So you are going to be free uh, next Friday. Okay. So um, let me just wait a couple of minutes for people to join us. Okay. Vamos a esperar unos momentitos, un momentito, ¿verdad? Para que los demás se nos unan. Eh, les decía que esta semana eh, hemos incluido viernes, ¿verdad? Porque eh, si recuerdan comenzamos en un día martes. Entonces eh, la próxima semana vamos a estar trabajando de lunes hasta jueves. Entonces la próxima semana, digamos, tienen libre el día viernes, de aquí hasta que el curso termine. Ok, okay thank you. Okay, excellent. Ah, uh, let me let me give you just two more minutes for people to come, okay? Okay. Excellent. Un minutito para que las personas eh, vengan, okay? Un minuto. Bien. Okay, I already have ready. Uh, I already have my presentation, so I'm going to start sharing my. Okay. Okay, I just want to confirm. Can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. Um, so uh, for today, meanwhile people is coming, uh, meanwhile they are joining. I want just to explain that we are going to continue with the 1.11 lesson objective that says that by the end of this class, you will be able to exchange phone numbers, right, uh, with people. So that's the practice um, that we have. Um, let's see, that we have a uh, pending from last last night and then we are going to cover a video that is in the platform that says number from one to ten phone numbers okay. and then we are going to cover this knowledge check. so after this class uh, you will be ready to go uh, to this practice 1.13 you can uh, open this pop-up and then you will download the audio in order to uh, know which are the phone numbers set, okay? Okay, we are 13 now. Ya somos 13. Entonces lo voy a ir poniendo en mute eh, para ir ya comenzando. Okay, one minute left. Un minutito. Okay, so as, as I was saying, uh, before this, uh, after we finish this class, you can go to the platform and you can complete this 1.13 knowledge check. You can open this window uh, here and you can download the audio in order that you can um, practice, right? It's important for you to download if you can uh, this because you can practice listening again and again and again until you get the domain of the uh, listening of the numbers and also the pronunciation. So uh, later, let me just show you. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, after that, we are going to study lesson object objective number two that says by the end of this class, you will become familiar with common object language that people have in their bags, okay? So this is a general vocabulary that um, 
refers to objects that you have in your bags. And basically this vocabulary uh, help us to introduce the next topic that is the demonstrative pronouns, I will show you. So you can go to the platform and watch that, the video and then you will go to the uh, lesson objective 2.2 that says, by the end of this class, you will become familiar with the usage of this and these. Okay, so we are going to pay attention on the pronunciation of these two words. And uh, in order to continue practicing these two words, you have the 2.3 video that says this and these. Okay, so we are going to practice um, uh, more and more how to pronounce, how to properly pronounce these two words. And then you will be able to complete the knowledge check 2.4, okay? Uh, and then again, you have to open here in order to expand the window. And in that way, you will be able to see uh, the objects. And then you will answer to the questions, what's this? What are these, right? Uh, because uh, you have to look if they are plurals, right? That's something that we are going to learn today. What's this, right? Uh, and uh, you have the possible choices, right? So you have to uh, complete uh, the questions with the right uh, option. Okay, so that's what we are going to do for this week. So what I expect from you is that uh, by the end of this weekend, it means tomorrow or Sunday, you complete in the platform at least until 2.4. If you can advance more than this, it's going to be okay. And if you need support, uh, I will try to help you as much as I can. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to open the presentation that I have for you tonight. Okay, so can you watch my new screen now? ¿Podemos ver la otra pantalla? Sí. Okay, yes. excellent. Okay, so we are going to practice the numbers today, okay? So what we are going to do is that I'm, I'm going to mute all of you in order that uh, you can listen what I say uh, and with interruption. And I will ask you to please repeat at home and with your mics mute, okay? Eh, vamos a repetir, verdad, en casita, eh, los números a medida que yo los vaya diciendo. Pero necesito que pongamos mute, ¿verdad? Yo le voy a poner mute ahora a todos para que nos podamos escuchar bien. Y con sus micrófonos cerraditos, eh, voy a necesitar que por favor me ayuden en repetir, ¿verdad? Yo voy a ir despacio, voy a ir pausando para poder eh, que ustedes, ¿verdad? Puedan repetir. So please repeat after me, but with your mics mute, ¿ok? So we have zero. We pronounce this with z, z. Uh, if you remember last night we were learning about the alphabet, so this letter is Z, so z, z, vibrant, zero. Zero, one, okay, so let me open my spotlight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, in this case, I just want to make the emphasis that you need to pronounce correctly the teen. Because if you don't pronounce correctly, sometimes you miss or confuse 14 which 40, with 40, which is different, right? En español, para que quede claro, en esta parte que está en amarillo, vamos a hacer énfasis en pronunciar bien el 13, desde 13 hasta 19. Porque muchas veces me confunden la pronunciación del 14, que es 14, con el 40, que es 40. So it's a big difference, right? Es una diferencia bien grande, ¿verdad? Entonces, again, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay? 
cuando dicen teenagers, los adolescentes, estamos hablando de esta edad, ¿verdad? Eh, from 13 to 19. Y le dicen teenagers por eso, porque están en la edad de los teen, ¿verdad? Ok, after that, we come to 20. 20. Eh, in the American English, we say 20, right? 20, 21, 22, 23. But in the British English, they say 20. Okay, and th that's correct. So if you say 20, it's correct. And if you say 20, it's correct also. So let's say 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20, uh, excuse me, 26. There's a mistake here. Let's correct. Vamos a corregir aquí porque hay un errorcito. 26. Sorry. So let me just correct. And normally when you write these numbers, uh, when you write these numbers, uh, you have, um, so let me close. You have to write with a hyphen, right? A hyphen is uh, el guion, verdad? So uh, can you watch my screen? La pueden ver de nuevo? Okay. Let's see, I hope yes. Okay, 20, um, 26, 27, 28, 29, okay? Once uh, you go in this way, you just combine, okay? For example, 30, and then you can start saying again, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and then you go to 40, and then you continue with the same dynamic until you reach uh, 90. So this is 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Then you go to the hundreds, right? Uh, so here, let me just show you. 100, 101, 102. Okay, sorry, here is two. So let me just correct the number. 102. And then you go to 200, right? 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. And then you get to 1,000, 1,000. Then you continue, 1,001, and 1,002 and so on until you get to 2,000, right? Um, for example, here you can say 2,002, right? 2,002, you have to write like this. 10,000, if you see, we don't add a letter S. Uh, this is not like in Spanish. In Español decimos, uh, uh, por ejemplo, cualquiera diría, vamos a decir, un mil, ¿verdad? Uno, eh, pero como estamos hablando de miles, decir thousands, pero no, no lleva una letra S, solo es hasta, hasta acá, ¿verdad? One thousand, eh, eh, one thousand and one, one eh, two thousand and two, for example, and then ten thousand, right? Eh, el que se entiende, ¿verdad? Por la cifra es el primero. Luego sabemos que estamos hablando de thousand, miles. In this case, one hundred thousand. 100,000, ¿verdad? 100, 100, y luego 1,000, que son los miles. 1 million, 6 six, six zeros, 1 million, 10 million. And big numbers like this, 123 million, because this is the part of the millions. Then 456,000, right? In the level of the thousand. And 789, so that's the way you have to read this amount. 123,456,789, okay? So, you don't worry because little by little you will be um, learning and remember that if you practice, it's uh, much better because you can uh, memorize the way you have to write them.
By now, we are going just to focus on the first uh, 10 digits from zero to nine in order to do our practice. For example, in the practice, uh, in this case, I have a, a conversation about how to ask for repetition when you ask a phone number. For example, what's your mobile number? It's 0749128384. Later, I will show you that we can say for zero, we can say 02. So I will show you, I will teach you later. You can say, sorry, can you please uh, say that again? Say that again as decirlo de nuevo, ¿verdad? Can you please say that again? Because I couldn't hear, for example, or I didn't uh, get the right number. Yes, it's 0749128384, and my work number is 0153200. Sorry, could you repeat that? Yes, it's 015322291150. Thanks. Okay, so what we are going to do is that I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to send it to you. So what I expect is that you can replay the number for your own cell phone number if you want or that you can create another false number just for practice purposes, okay? So the idea is that you can practice, right? So uh, your number should have like two, six, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Ten digits, ten digits. In this case, the number has ten digits, okay? Para efectos de práctica, eh, le voy a pedir que reemplacemos este número por un número inventado, ¿verdad? Eh, que pueda tener como mínimo... Eh, seis dígitos eh, y como máximo diez, ¿verdad? Ok, do you have questions about this eh, practice? ¿Tenemos preguntas acerca de la práctica? Ok, so the idea is that you can work eh, in pairs or in trios and that you can repeat the conversation. ¿verdad? Vamos a, a presentar una conversación similar. Uh, we are going to ask each other the numbers, the phone numbers. Vamos a pedirle uno al otro el número de teléfono. If you don't want, you don't have to use your own phone number. No tiene que utilizar su propio número, su número real, ¿verdad? You can create a, a new one in your mind just for practicing purposes. Usted puede crear uno en su mente, ¿verdad? Eh, solo para efectos de la práctica. Um, it, it needs to have six digits as minimum and eight as maximum. Que tenga entre seis, ¿verdad? Y ocho dígitos, está bien. Ok, uh, let's see. Ok, it's your time for speak in English and say your phone number. So I'm sending you the invitation for the breakout room and I hope that you join. Ok. Remember that all of us are learning, so you don't worry if you don't uh, pronounce uh, correctly the numbers at the beginning because that's the idea of the practice. Si usted siente que no pronuncia bien los números al principio, pues no se preocupe, esa es la idea de la práctica, ¿verdad? Eh, practicarlos y corregir las pronunciaciones acá. Ok, so please join. Unámonos a los grupos, por favor. If you have questions, please let me know and I will be around the groups. Si tienen preguntas, me lo hacen saber y yo voy a estar visitando los grupos, ¿verdad? So, I see that Edmond Everaldo is still here, René, Laura, and Alejandra. Please join my friends, por favor, si nos vamos uniendo a los grupos. It's going to be great that you can take advantage and practice your pronunciation.
Hello, Francisco. Uh, Laura, do you have a problem joining? Do you need that I resend you the invitation? Si por alguna razón no ven la invitación y necesitan que se la reenvíe con gusto, ¿verdad? Okay, yes, yeah. Okay, let me see. Uh, in this case, is uh, Laura and Edmond, right? So I'm going to move you to another group in order to uh, make sure that you receive the invitation. Okay, I already sent the invitation for Laura and now I'm going to resend the invitation for Edmond. Okay, okay, I have resend the invitation, Edmond. Ya les reenvié la invitación, espero que esta vez sí la puedan recibir. Eh, okay, if you have problem joining your groups, don't worry, you can work here. Si ustedes tienen problema porque no logran ver el aviso para unirse a los grupos, no hay problema. Ustedes pueden trabajar en este salón. I will go around the groups. Yo me voy a salir, ¿verdad? Voy a estar visitando los grupos, but I will come back to see your progress and if you need help. Porque veo que, que se les hace difícil unirse. Eh, sería, voy a repetir el ejercicio para que no nos perdamos. Ajá. It's zero seven four nine one two eight three eight four. Thank you. Uh, it's my number phone. My, pardon, my number phone. It's a uh, zero uh, seven four eight one two eight three eight four. Lila, can you please say that again? Your number phone. Phone number. Excuse me. Only just one little correction. Phone number. Phone number, oh, okay. Yes. Excellent, Thank you. okay, I'll leave you. Hello, hello, Francisco, can you hear me? Hola, Francisco, ¿me puede escuchar? Hola, es que, es que me desconecté un rato. Se, se desconectó, me... no se preocupe, yo lo vuelvo a asignar a otro grupo, no se preocupe, ahorita. Ok, okay. okay. I will assign you now. Okay, I hope you have received the invitation again. Espero que haya recibido nuevamente la invitación. O sea, es un inventado, o sea, no, sí, sí. ella dijo que no, no es lo real. Right. Sorry, can you please say them, I think? Yes, it's... Um, it, Zero, um, hello, hello, Laura, can you hear me? Hola, Laura, ¿me puede escuchar? Thanks. Okay. 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 Are we fine? <laughs> hello, hello. How is it going? Hello. Como hello. Va todo? Are you practicing? Yes. Yes. Everything is okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay. 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 Excellent. What your no mobile number? It is uh, four two zero nine six five seven four. Four. Sorry, can you please say? <clears throat> Sorry, can you please say the game? Yes. It's zero seven four nine one two eight three eight four, and my work number is no, no, no. 
Hola. Hello. Did you finish? ¿Terminaron ya? Yes. Excellent. Okay. I'll call you back in a minute. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello, welcome back. I hope that all of you uh, have had the chance to practice and say your, uh, your creation of new phone number just for the practical purposes here. So Richard. I will, hello, yes. Uh, I question. Yes, tell me. Uh, um, uh, sorry. Así se pronuncia, cold. So, um, good, good. La L no suena, good. Sorry, could you repeat that? Good. Good. Es como, ¿podría repetir eso? ¿Podría repetir eso? Sí. Could you repeat that? Me dice, esa, sorry, cold. Ah, no, perdón. Good. 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 Good, sin la Usted, final, Es como una U. Eh, imagínese que la O no existe y, y que la L no existe. Entonces es good. 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 Sí, imaginémonos que la O no existe y que la L no existe. Entonces decimos good. Could you repeat that? Ah, ok. Ok, good. excellent. Excellent. So, uh, my dears, I need at least two teams, two volunteers team to show us uh, what you did in the breakout rooms to present before the class your exercise. So who would like to start? Dennis? Dennis Mancia, would you like to participate with your team? Okay. Okay, thank you. What's your mobile number? It is... Eh, excuse me, eh, who else was in your team? Eh, ¿Quién más estaba en su equipo? Para que alguien más de su equipo le responda. Eh, Rita y Jessica. Ok, Rita y Jessica, one of you, please. Una de ustedes. Aquí tienes algunos de Hello, Rita y Jessica. Can you sorry, hear? sorry, sorry. Ok, Rita, it, thank you. It's zero. Seven four nine one two eight three eight four. Okay. Sorry, can you please say again? Say that again. Say that again. Mm -hmm. Again, okay. Yes, it zero seven four nine one two eight three eight four. And um, my work number is. Zero one five three two 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 nine one five zero. Sorry, could you repeat that? Yes, it's zero one five three two 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 nine one five zero. Thanks. Excellent. Now, Dennis, uh, would you like to work with your other colleague? Hay una persona más del equipo que está eh, pendiente. ¿Quién sería? Uh, Jessica. Jessica. Jessica, would you like to um, ask to Dennis? ¿Le puede preguntar a Dennis, por favor? Para que Dennis pueda okay. preguntar también. Okay. okay. Thank you. What's your, what's your mobile number? It is 0749. One, two, H, three, H, four. Sorry, can you please say again? Say that again. Then say that again. Yes, it's zero, seven, four, nine, one, two, H, 
three is four. And my word number is zero, one, five, three, two, 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 nine, one, five, zero. Sorry, can you, can you repeat then? Yes, yes, it's zero, one, five, three, two, 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 nine, one, five, zero. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Only one, just a little, um, a little feedback. Uh, zero with a e, z zero. zero. It's like a vibrant zero. z for all the class. Zero, okay. Uh, para toda la clase, verdad? La retroalimentación es z zero zero. Y el eight eh, suena una t, una t explosiva al final, porque si me lo hacen como h, ya es otra palabra. Right. Sería como como Y si me le ponen H sería H. Eh, es como, como eh, ache, dolor, ¿verdad? I have a headache, me duele algo. Entonces, para que no se confunda, tratemos de quitar la H y poner la T explosiva. Eight. 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 Ajá, exacto. Eight. Eight, exacto. Así, like that. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Because of the time, I need to go to the next part of the, of the topic. Thank you very much to this team. You did a great job. So what I want to show you now is the way how do we uh, use zero, for example. I know that in many uh, phone numbers we have uh, to say zero, but also in the spoken English you may hear O, okay? Instead of saying say zero, when you're saying a phone, a phone number, you can say O, okay? It says that we use O after a decimal point. For example, 9.02, 9.02. Or also we use O in a bus or room numbers. For example, room 101. But you can say room 101 and it's okay. But normally you will listen room 101. In the bus rooms, for example, bus 602. In phone numbers, for example, this nine one. So let me mute you because in order to avoid the interference. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, for example, here nine one three zero oh, four seven two. In this case, we say o oh, four nine one three zero oh, four seven two. We say o. Oh. In years, nineteen o oh, six. 19, uh, when we say years, we say the two numbers, the two first and the last two, 1906. Before a decimal point, we also can say now. Uh, now point oh six. Now point oh six. We use zero in temperature. 10 degrees below zero, right? 10 degrees below zero. In the US English for the number, uh, we say zero, right? Zero. Okay, uh, we also have uh, the other expression here that is um, nil in football, for example, Chelsea to Manchester United nil, right? Instead of saying zero, right? Uh, love, love, uh, it's equals to zero in tennis, for example. They say 20, uh, 20 uh, love, okay? 20 love. Como decir 20 a 0, that 20 low. Okay, that's an, the other way to say zero in numbers. Okay, let me advance. Okay, what about the positions and how we should read it? Uh, for example, we read the numbers uh, as normal. For example, four is read as four, right? Whenever you, you start here. But when you have this dot, you say, uh, that you have a separation, right? For example, here, five and so this this dot means end. Ese puntito, verdad, eh, se dice end, verdad? Cuando tenemos cifras eh, así, verdad? Cuando ya estamos hablando de los thousand, miles, eh, tenth eh, tenth place, eh, hundredth place. Thousands place. 
Uh, read numbers as normal, but the, the place the value you say in the place value that holds the last digit, for example, four point, uh, this is read as four and 56 hundredths. Eh, aquí, si ustedes se fijan, sí estamos utilizando la S, ¿verdad? Porque ya estamos hablando de que esta cifra nos está resumiendo miles, ¿verdad? Pero no estamos poniendo la cifra completa, como en el caso anterior que les mostré, ¿sí? Entonces aquí es 4 and 56 hundred, ¿eh? como cuando decimos 4.56, eh, en este caso sería eh, miles, ¿verdad? Eh, perdón, eh, cientos. Eh, el thousand ya son los miles, ¿verdad? Como el caso de abajo. Ok, so, eh, in this case, we have five in the ones place, uno en el lugar de las eh, unidades, el puntito, and eh, three is in the tenth place, en, en lugar de las decenas, the one is in the hundreds place, en el lugar de las centenas, And the two is in the thousands, en el lugar de las, eh, los miles, ¿verdad? Entonces, como aquí ya estamos hablando de miles, cientos, entonces aquí sí ya lleva la letra S. Ok, so let me advance, just to show you uh, briefly, how do we read these numbers? For example, one and, and two thirds, three fourths, three squared, two Cubed, two to the power of four, 1975, 2001, this is a year, right? 2001, two, this, is a, this is a phone number right here, two, six, three, three, eight, four, seven, 26 degrees. And in this big number is read 1,325,000, right? Remember that the below chart, in this case, we are reading thousand. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay. Somebody saying that they cannot listen. And then uh, five, um, uh, 476, right? 476. In this case, we are talking about, in the last three, about 100. Okay, um, that's it, um, let's see. Yes, uh, here I have an exercise uh, that we are going to try to solve uh, quickly. For example, here, that's a type of vocabulary, for example. Did you remember to call the manager and, uh, and arrange a meeting? When I called him, he was already talking on the phone. They are talking on the phone with another person. The phone was? Which word do you think is the right answer here? Answer the phone, DC, call, country call, dial, extension number, hang up, message, mobile phone, operator, pay phone, phone number, ring, text, wrong number. Alguien que pueda hacer la lectura comprensiva y me diga cuál palabra cree que más se adapta a, a la expresión número dos, a la oración dos. When I called him, he was already talking on the phone with another person. The phone was? Busy. Busy, right? Cuando yo le llamé, él estaba hablando con otra persona. El teléfono estaba ocupado. Busy. Thank you. Number three. I'm sorry, but John isn't here right now. Can I take a? Message. A message, right? Can I take a message? message? Yes. Es como, lo siento, pero Juan no está aquí en este momento. Can I take a message? ¿Puedo tomar el mensaje? Okay, this is just vocabulary for you when you're uh, asking or uh, talking uh, on the phone. Number four. Thank you. Another way to cell phone is? Mobile phone. Mobile phone, okay. With this word, in the, in the American English, uh, you say mobile phone. But in the British English, they say mobile, mobile phone. So both are correct, mobile and mobile. Okay, number five, did you hear the phone? Ring, ring. Did you hear the phone ring? ¿Escuchaste sonar el teléfono? 
¿Verdad? Ring es sonar, ¿verdad? Es un verbo. Number six. D for Australia is 61. Pension number. Mm, Australia. Country code. Yes, thank you. Country the country code. code for Australia is 61. Excellent, thank you. Number seven. Can I hear the phone ringing? I should. What number? Answer the phone, right? Eh, Puedo escuchar que el teléfono está sonando. Yo debería answer the phone, contestar el teléfono, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Yes. Number eight. When you finish talking on the phone, you should. Let's see. What number? Hang up. Hang up es colgar. When you finish, cuando termines de hablar por, el, por teléfono, tú deberías hang up, colgar el teléfono. Esa es la palabra colgar, hang up. This two word verb, es un verbo de dos palabras, ¿verdad? Thank you. Number nine, Mrs. Green, I'm sorry, but there's no one here by that name. I think that you have. Mm -hmm. Wrong number. Wrong number, right. Yes. Eh, Miss Green, eh, señorita Green, lo siento, no hay nadie aquí con ese nombre. Creo que usted tiene el número equivocado. Wrong number, número equivocado. Ten, if you have any trouble calling an international number, call the... And ask for help. Extension number? Uh, maybe, but in this case we say operator. Operator. Ajá, es, se recuerdan. Today they don't exist anymore. Uh, estos días ya no existen prácticamente, ¿verdad? Pero en el pasado teníamos que usar un operador para llamar a nivel internacional, ¿verdad? Por eso dice. Uh, excuse me, creo que no. Ahí está. Uh, any trouble. Uh, si tienes algún problema ya, haciendo una llamada internacional, Eh, con un número internacional, call and the operator and ask for help. Eleven. First call Mr. Smith at this, um, let's see, first call Mr. Smith at this company phone number, then dial 459-459. Is his? Extension number. Extension number, ahí sí. ¿Verdad? Estamos dando la extensión del señor Smith. ¿Verdad? Y le decimos que marque el número de la compañía y luego 459. Eh, 12. Of course, it's always dangerous to talk on the phone or. Text. Or, or drive. Text. Dial. En este caso sería dial mm -hmm. when you drive a car. O sea, ir, ir marcando el teléfono, ¿verdad? Ir marcando un número mm -hmm. cuando estamos manejando. 13. Hey, look. There's a outside. Let's use it to call a taxi to the airport. ¿Se recuerdan de lo que habían antes cuando no habían celulares? Y que todos íbamos a hacer la fila. <laughs> Sería un payphone, ¿verdad? Payphone. Un teléfono de pago, payphone. las famosas cabinas, ¿verdad? Payphone. Ese es un payphone. ¿Ok? Yes. My is... My phone number. Yes, my phone number is 555-8742. How can you... Text. It can be text, a phone number, and then it continues, ¿verdad? It's and explains. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my dears. We are going to stop sharing this, and we are going to start the other topic that I have for you tonight. You did a great job identifying, uh, I mean, um, pronouncing the numbers and uh, saying your uh, phone number, okay? So, can you watch my new screen now? Yes, teacher, I can see. Okay, excellent. Green. So, we are going to talk about demonstrative pronouns, okay? So, maybe we won't finish because of the time, but I want to introduce the topic, which is part of the uh, section number two uh, that we are going to conclude next week. 
Uh, for next week, we are going to conclude section two and section three, okay? And we are going to have also the midterm exam, okay? This week, it has been like a little bit um, slow because it's our first week, but for next week, we are going to go a little bit faster, okay? Esta semana ha sido un poquito más tranquila, ¿verdad? Porque estamos empezando, pero la otra semana vamos a acelerar un poquito, así que ya vamos introduciendo la sección 2. Para la próxima semana vamos a completar lo que es la sección 2 y finalizar la sección 3 con el midterm exam. Ok, what about demonstrative pronouns? We have um, these words that are called demonstrative pronouns and they help us to uh, point out things that are close. For example, in this case, this is a star. If you see it's singular, we are talking about only one star. And the star is very close to my hand, okay? Very close to my hand. I have the other one in blue that says these are, excuse me, there's a, these are stars. It doesn't have to, to have an A because it's only one, okay? So these are stars. If you see, I have more than one. I have one, two, and three stars, right? And they are very close to my hand. So the blue ones are the demonstrative pronouns for objects that are close to me. Close to me, okay? Cerca de mí. And I have for singular and I have for plural. In the platform, you only have these two. This and these. And I want you to watch something. Quiero que vean eh, de alguna manera como lo pronuncio. El primero... Este, el singular, only one, you say this. Es una I bien tímida, ¿verdad? Bien recogida, this. por decirlo así. This. 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 En this. cambio, la otra, cuando hablo acerca de plurals, ¿verdad? Object, eh, close objects, objetos cercanos, yo digo these. These. Si se, ve, eh, se ve hasta como this. que estoy sonriendo, ¿verdad? This. 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 Entonces this. tenemos this. This. And these. And these. Uh -huh. This, 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 this. Ok, para que no se me confundan, porque si no lo pronunciamos bien, eh, po podemos eh, no darnos a entender cuando estamos utilizando estas, estos demonstrative pronouns, ok? So, in the second case, they are not in the platform, but I brought the class because they are very similar. ¿verdad? Estos dos no aparecen en la plataforma, pero se los traigo porque usualmente se trabajan juntos, ¿verdad? That is a demonstrative pronoun for singular objects that are That's far, okay? That are far. If, if lejos. You see, lejos, sí. If you see, the hand is far from the star. So I say that, I have to point out. Tengo que señalar, ¿verdad? Porque I cannot touch it. No lo puedo tocar. So it's far, está lejos. That is a star, like in the sky. That is a star. star. Okay, the other one says those. Those, those are those stars. Are star. Yes, and I have those more. Those are star. I have one, two, and three, and they are far. Están lejos, ¿verdad? But they are plural. They are three. Okay. Those and are star. To summarize, I have for the singular, this and that. This and that. This and that. Yes. It's this. This. Yes. 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 This. This and that. that. Okay. Singular. This and that. And for plural. This and that. These and those. These. Okay. These, these and those. Okay. Um, and then, uh, again, uh, repitamos, ¿verdad? Ahí para ustedes. Voy a hacer una sección de repetición para que lo repitan ustedes con el mute y que nos podamos escuchar bien. For singular. Near, near means cerca, ¿verdad? Singular, near objects, this. Singular, far objects, that. Plural, near objects, these. These. Plural, far objects, those. Those. ¿Sí? 
Excellent. So uh, later, uh, next week, we are going to work with the yes, no questions and the most of the pronouns, but just want to introduce this. So the structure of these questions is verb be plus the demonstrative pronoun plus the object. For example, here, I, I, I ask, is this a cat? And you see, it's singular, there's only one cat, and the, and the cat is very close, right? It's very close to the arrow. Let's imagine that the arrow is my hand. In here, I say, are these cats? I'm talking about three cats. It's more than one, so it's plural, right? It's plural, but they are close. They are close. The arrow is very close. In the other example, uh, I ask, is that a verb? But the verb is far. Look, it's far. In the other one uh, example, I say, are those birds? Yes, I'm asking, are those birds? One, two, three birds, but they are far, okay? So just to summarize, singular, this, that. This is close, that is far. Plural, these and those. These is close and those is far. And for all the questions is, yes, it is. If it's singular, yes, they are if it's plural, okay? So, um, again, uh, when we say here, aquí, ¿verdad? It means close, cerca. I use singular, this. Plural, these. For there, there significa allá, ¿verdad? Lejos. For singular, I use that. For plural, I use those. And in this case, the demonstrative pronouns, um, the, the formula, the formula to write sentences is demonstrative pronoun. So let me show you with my spotlight. Uh, the demonstrative pronoun plus the verb. This is a red pen, right? This is a red pen, okay? So we are talking about only one red pen, but it's very close. And in the second, I say these are blue pens. I'm talking about plural, more than one, but they are close, okay? So they are here, here, they are close. Um, in this case, uh, I'm using the most uh, demonstrative adjectives. The demonstrative uh, adjectives the structure is different. In this case, I have demonstrative adjective plus a noun. That pen is red. Look, only one pen. Okay, these pens are blue. Several pens. Okay, in Spanish, just to clarify, in español, ¿verdad? Ustedes me van a decir, teacher, mire, pero yo a veces veo que dice demonstrative pronouns y demonstrative adjective. Okay, es que depende de De lo, del rol que tengan dentro de la oración, por ejemplo, y la estructura. Por ejemplo, yo aquí tengo el demonstrative pronoun plus the verb. Entonces, es un pronoun, ¿verdad? Eh, this is a red pen. Y la estructura es demonstrative pronoun plus the verb. This is. Entonces, estoy eh, utilizándolo como pronombre, ¿verdad? En lugar de decir it is a red pen, digo this is a red pen. En lugar de decir, they are blue pens, digo, these are blue yes. pens, ¿sí? Entonces me está sirviendo como un pronoun, ¿verdad? Como algo que sustituye, un pronombre sustituye a un nombre, ¿verdad? Y acá, the difference is because it is modifying a noun, noun. Entonces aquí se vuelve adjetivo, la misma palabra que significa lo mismo, ¿verdad? Y básicamente está señalando un objeto lejano. Um, se convierte en adjetivo porque está modificando a un noun, ¿verdad? Un nombre. Entonces decimos, that pen is red. ¿Vea? Entonces ya el, este se convierte en un adjetivo porque está modifying un noun. Pen is a noun. Pens is noun. ¿Ok? Pero no nos vamos a meter mucho en eso, ¿verdad? Solamente quise traerles esta imagen porque... Eh, Si ustedes buscan, ¿verdad?, más información, probablemente lo encuentren y no quiero que les vaya a generar confusión. Ok, so let me advance. 
I have here, just let me check out the time. Yes, I have some, just a couple of minutes. I have here the demonstrative adjectives and pronouns. For example, here it's clearer. Aquí está un poquito más claro, ¿verdad? I have this, that, these, and those. A estas alturas yo espero que ya ustedes lo puedan identificar. So, I need a volunteer. What is this for? ¿Para qué utilizamos this? A ver, I need a volunteer. Uh -huh. For close or for far? For singular or for plural? Singular. Ajá. Uh -huh. Close or far? Close. Close. No. Close, ¿verdad? Sí, es cercano, singular. ¿Y that? Singular. Singular. Far. Right? Singular and far. Close or far? Plural, far. Mm, singular, far. sería singular, far. Singular, far. far. Sí, singular y lejos, ¿verdad? Y this. This will be plural. Plural, uh -huh. close. Plural, close. close. Excellent. And those. Uh, plural, plural and far. Plural. plural, far, ¿verdad? Excellent. Far. Thank you. Okay, so look. In this case, they are being used, las mismas palabras, they are being used as demonstrative adjectives because they are describing a noun. For example, this chair is broken. Look, demonstrative adjective, noun. That car is expensive. It's modifying the noun car. These clothes are wet. Clothes is a noun. Those birds That's... are flying south. Birds are, is, is a noun. The word birds is a noun. Okay, in this case, they are being used as demonstrative pronoun because identify someone or something, right? This is my chair. That is Peter's house. These are her clothes. Those are migrating birds. If you see when they are used as pronoun, you have the demonstrative and then the verb. Look, this is, that is, this, these are, those yes. are. Okay? So it depends on the structure. Dependiendo de cómo está la estructura de la oración y qué modifica, puede ser un adjetivo si modifica un nombre o sustantivo o un pronombre si eh, eh, antecede a, a un verbo, ¿verdad? Si precede a un verbo. Ok. Um, I have here more examples. These, uh, but I need volunteers. Necesito voluntarios porque necesito que ustedes pronuncien. So I need some volunteers here. Vamos a ver rapidito en los minutos que nos quedan. I need volunteers for each one. Un voluntario para leer cada una, por favor. Please read it. Yo. Ok, please. Okay, la primera es, these shoes are black. Ok. Those shoes are gray. Ok, thank you. O only, the, only two. Ok, another volunteer. Otro voluntario para que podamos practicar. Yo, teacher. Ok, please. Okay. Thank you. This pain is small. Okay. That pain, that is, pain very is very large. Excellent. I need oh. uh, my dear lady, la, la chica que me estaba ayudando, que me lea las siguientes dos. Que no pude ver quién era, perdón. Pero escuché la vocecita. ¿Quién Say, era? ¿Quién era? Um, that clock Adrián. is by o'clock. Oh, mm -hmm. Excellent. And the, sec the next one, Adriana. Take time on this, this clock the, is, this, this, this mm -hmm. clock is 11.15. 11.15. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Aquí, Adriana, es un this, una I más corta, porque this. si me dice this, eh, se confunde con el otro, ¿verdad? Thank uh -huh. you. Okay, another volunteer, siguiente voluntario. Yo. Yo. Ok, oh. perdón, tengo dos. Eh, vamos a ver si comenzamos con ladies first, and then primero las chicas y luego el caballero. Ok. That plane is a toy. Ok. This 
Mm -hmm. Plain is a toy. Isn't a toy. Excellent. Thank you. And uh, now, my dear, eh, mi estimado que, que, que también estaba pendiente por acá. Okay. Um, okay. This cat is eating. Okay. That cat isn't eating. Okay. Okay, the last two. Excuse me. La siguiente dos. Another volunteer? Mi último voluntario para esta noche? Those glasses are for reading. Okay. Reading, for reading. Reading. For reading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These glasses are sunglasses. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Um, let's see. I have three minutes left. Tenemos eh, los últimos tres minutos. Vamos a comenzar esta, ¿verdad? Y vamos a ver. Eh, if we don't finish, we will finish next class. Okay? Because I need, I have more for you. But in this exercise, basically, eh, we need to try to see which is the right. This, that, these. Or those. For example, number one, look at birds up in the tree. Uh, so you need to pay attention to the to what the sentence says. And when it says up there in the tree, cuando dicen arriba en el árbol, ¿qué sensación me da? Is close or far? Far. 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 Okay. ¿Y cuál es el otro elemento que yo tengo que checar? Singular or plural, right? So when plural. I say birds, do you think it's singular plural. or plural? Plural. It's plural. plural. Okay. So according to that, what is what is the best answer here? This, these, or those? Those. Those. But that those. those. Because it's plural. Far. Excellent. Thank you. Number two, your books. Look, we are talking about plural books. And says over there on the table. Over there is far. So which is could be the correct? These, those, or this? This. 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 Mm. No, it's plural. Over there. Over there. Ah, yeah. No. Well, those. These. Excuse me. Over there is lejo, verdad? Entonces sería those, verdad? So. Those. Uh, are those your books over there on the table? Son aquellos libros que están sobre la mesa? Vea, es eh, plural, pero es far. Entonces, ¿cuáles son las palabras claves? Para que sea cerca es here, right here, ¿verdad? Y para que sea lejos es over there, o there, ¿verdad? Ok, number three. My umbrella is right here. Ok, umbrella, singular. Estamos hablando de una sola sombrilla, ¿verdad? Y dice this. here. This. 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 Okay. This. 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 My umbrella is right here. This is my umbrella. This. Okay, excellent. So I will let you take a picture. If you can please take a picture. And I will ask you to please complete this exercise for coming Monday. I will send it to you. Yo se lo voy a mandar a you. Pero si ustedes me pueden tomar una imagen en este momento, I appreciate that. Okay, I will move to the next one because we have more. Tenemos más, ¿verdad? So this is, in addition to the platform, if you can work on this, it's going to be great. En adición a la plataforma, si usted puede practicar esos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Sería genial. Okay. Okay, so let me send it to you. And I just want to say thank you for coming and uh, please be safe. Uh, rest as, as you can. ¿verdad? Descansa como pueda. Uh, be safe. Uh, estén bien. And I hope to see you next Monday, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. 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 Bye. Thank Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Take care, my dears. <laughs>